Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about these really, really bizarre Starbucks cans. Now, when you hear the words Starbucks and cans, you think a cold drink you're gonna crack open and take a sip of, but this is not what we have for you today. These are airtight canisters that look more like tuna or cat food than they do coffee. Yes, people, they put 1.3 ounces of ground coffee into an airtight canister that looks like something you might put in a bunker or in a, in a survival shelter or something that, that would last for 10 years. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box. Then we're gonna take a look at these bizarre cans. After that, we're gonna throw those cans over to my pour over and we're gonna brew up a nice hot cup of coffee. Then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang. We're gonna do the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee, and this one looks like it's either gonna be the future or it's gonna be the past of coffee, I don't know. Then we're gonna figure out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen, people, it does happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at these bizarro, um, I don't even know what you call these cans, I guess, canisters. Okay, so we got the iconic Starbucks logo up here. This is, of course, a brand new thing by Starbucks. This is the Fresh Brew Ground Coffee Cans. Yes, people, this looks like something from the 50s, but it's not. This is 2021, and I am doing it justice in this video eight cans make eight half pots people that is absolutely bizarre wow so each can is 1.3 ounces of coffee that's very interesting i wonder if in a few months or a year this will even still exist i think this is weird and it's a niche 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 thing <laughs> niche i don't know what i'm saying this is why I bought it right here, people. Yes, 50% off. When I see that at my local grocery store, I cannot pass this up. I have to buy. All right, let's take a look over here. Airtight, sealed for fresh taste. Boom ski. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. More of the same over here. Where is my fresh buy date? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, do, ba, bow. All right. Ooh, chocolate and toasted nut. Very cool. All right. Am I missing the fresh buy date? Oh, here we go. Fresh buy date, February 2021. All right. So this is how they recommend you brew it. This is very, very interesting. I'm going to have to pull out my drip coffee maker for this. I have not used it in over two years. Wowie, wowie, zowie. All right. Okay. Very interesting. All right, that's straightforward. All right, and boom. So my, okay, this is a medium, balanced, smooth, and rich. Love it. All right, people. So let's crack this bad boy open and see if the carpet matches the drapes. Ah. This guy does not want to open. There we go. Whoa, that is very, very cool. Wow, look at those cans, man. This, I okay, I have to hand this to Starbucks. This is absolutely bizarre, but that is the cutest thing that I've ever seen. And I know I just use cute, but that is where I'm at with this. This is insane wow i almost just want to store these on my shelf as like decor because that thing is hilarious wow yeah this is something you would find in like a bunker like in a hundred years from now and you'd be able to crack it open and it would still make a good cup of coffee on top of that who is who asked for this 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 is something that is just so such a niche thing although millions of people drink drip coffee so it's just it's so bizarre i can't i can't stop uh wow i can't stop wowing that is so funny huh very very interesting so each can or canister i like to call it a canister um each can has the steps on it because they don't want you to forget 
Wow. Okay, we have we have to crack this open. I'm wondering if I shouldn't turn my microphone down so I can get a good Let's let's try and do this. Okay, bear with me people. Bear with me. All right. I've turned the microphone down. So when I crack this open, we're going to hear it in all of its glory. Turn the microphone back up. Bear with me. There we go. Wow, people, the smell is insane. I cannot, it is, this has to be the freshest smelling coffee ever. Like even from something I ground myself at home. Wow, that is truly a fresh, smell holy but jesus wow all right man okay that who that is very interesting so this leads me to my next question i don't know if i said this on the intro or not but i'm going to probably repeat myself because it's so interesting i wonder if they're going to do the same thing for a pour over as pour over becomes way more popular than drip coffee i wonder if that's going to be something um and of course in this video i will be pouring one of these into my pour over and making a pour over cup of coffee so don't think you're not going to see that in this video people yes we will have two that is two sip tests okay so that will be interesting to see. Let me turn this brightness back down. Wow, that was a little bit too hot. Okay, so that'll be very, very interesting to see if these take off and they start to make one of these canisters for a pour over, one of these canisters for an AeroPress. That would be very, very interesting, Starbucks. I, I am, I'm definitely interested in that. Um, but coming up, we're gonna throw this bad boy into the drip coffee maker and brew up a nice hot cup of coffee. All right, let's get into this, people. We're gonna take another close look at this canister because something has changed and you'll see coming up in a second. Take a closer look at that logo right there. Foreshadowing, who knows? All right, let's crack this open once more, people. The smell is amazing. And there you go. We are not doing a drip coffee in this review. This will be the pour over. I know I said I would be doing drip coffee first, but we're gonna do that second in a bonus video or maybe a full video, depending on how I shoot that together. Shoot it together, put it together. <laughs> and that looks like a decent amount for a pour over. That's almost the same amount I would put in for a normal pour over. Okay, so we're gonna get our water at about 180 to 190. That's optimal for pour over. Anything hotter or cooler will not extract the most flavor, people. And that is what we want out of this. We want pure flavor. All right, let's pour that water in. So you're doing the pre-soak. You wanna soak your grounds for about 30 seconds, let it drip down until it's almost gone, and then you're gonna give it the first full hit, and that's gonna show you the crema, and that will give you an understanding of just how fresh this fresh can is. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. That is the first hit. Look at that crema, people, and the crowd goes wild. Wow, that is some great, crema right there and that is truly showing you that this is what it says it is a fresh cup and that stream is rich and bountiful yes i said it bountiful wow this can is almost perfect for a pour over and i cannot say that enough wow look at that bloomage right there people that is incredible and if you notice it's holding the water like it should and it's slowly dissipating which means it's pulling every last drop of flavor out of those grounds here we go we're rising up we are rising up people <laughs> all right 
Wow, this is working out quite well. I really, really hope Starbucks takes note and makes a pour over can. All they have to do is just swap the instructions and make it a little bit more coarse. I think this would be considered a little bit too fine for pour over. Uh, it's, it's a little bit less than a medium grind. All right, now we are going to be doing the pour test. So we got the Grand Canyon mug right there. Here we go. We're looking for a rich stream. Not too watery and not too rich. Ooh, wow, people. Look at that. That is amazing. And if you notice, there's no settlements in there thanks to the coffee getter filter. Wow, that is a rich cup of coffee. And it looks very strong and slightly intimidating. <laughs> that is a lot of caffeine and a lot of flavor right there, people. And look at the steam dance on that mug. Wow. All right. So you're going to want to take a thermometer. You can use a meat thermometer. You can use a liquid thermometer, whatever you got. Put it in your coffee cup and see how hot your coffee is. You want it to be between 135 and 140. I drink it about 132 for optimal taste and flavor. Try it at home. All right, let's get into the sip test, people. I am a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. I am a little bit scared about this sip test because it is extremely strong. Extremely? <laughs> extremely strong. Wow, people. All right. The smell actually smells like Pike's Place. If you've ever had a Pike's Place from Starbucks or from uh, your own kitchen, you know what the smell is and that is really what i'm getting from here it actually smells a little bit less extreme than when i did my pike's place uh, whole bean pour over test so it's a little bit less um, intense from that one and it looks a little bit smoother a little bit more watery uh, and it's lighter weight if that makes any sense at all so let's get this sip test going Ooh. Wow, there is a lot going on there. Whoo, my oh my. It is earthy, nutty, sweet, bitter, um, dark, <laughs> which this is, I'm pretty sure this is a medium roast. Mm. Wow, I do not recommend you try that ratio at home. <laughs> that is extremely strong, wow. I'm sure the caffeine levels are through the roof. Yeah, I would say you could go a little bit more water to uh, that whole entire thing, but I really like just cracking that little tin open and throwing it straight into the pour over. It makes life a lot simpler uh, for, for the pour over. I mean, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm doing one step versus four steps of scooping four scoops into my uh, pour over. Well, I'm also getting the canister out. So I'm pulling the canister out four scoops. So that's four steps versus grabbing the can, cracking it open, pouring it in like I would feed a cat if I had one. Um, yeah, so the first hit is like the roof of your mouth and it is, it's bitter. And it's rightfully so because this is very, very strong. Um, it's bitter. It's enjoyable. The aftertaste is a little bit thick and sweet, which is really enjoyable. So you're getting a very, very complex um, hit of, of truly, truly uh, black coffee. I mean, this, this is the darkest, um, well... It is definitely brown. It's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, you know, a dark roast, so it doesn't have that French roast black uh, look to it. But it definitely is is dark and intense, um, and it's it's only a medium roast, which is hilarious. But this is definitely doable. It has a good aroma to it. It has a good taste. Um, I think and hope that Starbucks will. Uh, we'll start to create something like this for pour overs where they make a perfect uh, pour over amount 
and put it in a tin just like that and people can just crack it open and away they go. Yeah, that is not bad at all. I definitely give that a solid four stars. Uh, for the creativity of this video and what I've done, I give it um, five stars just because I thought this might be undrinkable. <laughs> This may have been the undrinkable coffee, but it's it's actually drinkable. So four stars for the taste, five stars for the overall um, everything. So that that that's where I'm at with this. It is definitely something that you can drink daily uh, if you figure out the right water to coffee ratio. And the caffeine level, of course, is is going to be through the roof. You're going to get a huge hit of caffeine. This is a, oh, I only got four hours of sleep. I need a boost coffee. <laughs> this is a TGIM uh, coffee. Thank God it's morning coffee because you had the worst night of your life. <laughs> so definitely four solid stars. Definitely worth your purchase. Definitely something you could drink daily, weekly, monthly, whatever. This is a consumption coffee. Um, and it works in the pour over. Surprise, surprise, people. <laughs>all right there you go that's the starbucks fresh brew cans hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did definitely clearly clack that like button if you want to join the at home with lucas family and you want to join this crew hit that subscribe button every time i get a subscriber i get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys i'm on my way to 2k yes people surpassed that 1k mark got monetized on my way to making some money on youtube but i need your help so tell your friends tell your family tell your pets Subscribe to this guy and start watching this channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye tip you can also use these as an air freshener in your home just crack the top and away you go